Hi, I am Cantagian, and this is the beginning of the Cantagian's Classics series on this channel. This series is going to be separate from everything else I do. Um, when I do upload videos, they'll be at 10 p.m., and they won't interfere with any other scheduled uploads of main series on the channel. I'm doing this kind of for fun to replay games from my childhood and, you know, show them to you guys at the same time. So, uh, we'll see how it does. Either way, I'm going to keep it up because it's not really interfering with anything else. But where better to begin than where my career with RPGs started. Um, with this game here, if I had not had this game, I might be a completely different gamer today, playing different genres, doing different things. I'd be like some one of those many people just playing Call of Duty online and nothing else. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but that's not who I am. And this, right here, is my original copy of Dragon Warrior that I got in, I think, 1987 or 88 with my subscription to Nintendo Power that my mother signed me up for. It's taped up like this because the battery inside originally failed and uh, we drilled into it, took it out, found the old battery, got rid of it, and put a new battery in it so that it might work again and save my games. So, it's a Franken copy, but th this is a very highly sentimental copy of Dragon Warrior for me because this is where it all began. I could barely read, and this game got me really into reading Middle English. So, from here, we're going to play Dragon Warrior. Enjoy, and definitely in the comments, please let me know what you think. And if you like it, please leave a like. And here we are at the Dragon Warrior main screen. Um, so we're just going to hop right in. I'm going to press start and begin a new quest. I think we only, we only have eight letters, so I have to cut one out of my name. K... E and T, and I believe that your beginning name affects your starting stats. E Kent again. That's my name. And message speed fast. It's got to be fast. All right, here we go. Descendant of Erdrick, listen now to my words. It is told that in ages past, Erdrick fought demons with a ball of light. Then came the Dragon Lord, who stole the precious globe and hid it in the darkness. Now, Kent again, thou must keep us. Thou must help us recover the ball of light and restore peace to our land. The Dragon Lord must be defeated. Take now whatever thou may find in these treasure chests to aid thee in thy quest. Then speak with the guards, for they have much knowledge that may aid thee. May the light shine upon thee, Kentigan. So, this game is super simple. It's one of the original RPGs on a console. First one I ever played. Uh, so, we could just take this chest of gold. Thou hast gained 20. And this asshole's in my way. Dost thou know about Princess Quaylin? Well, I do, but no. Half a year now hath passed since the princess was kidnapped by the enemy. Never does the king speak of it, but he must be suffering much. Kentigan, please save the princess. Of course there's got to be a princess to be saved. All right, so we'll take this. Fortune smiles upon thee, for thou hast found the magic key. Get off my chest, Mr. Guard. Thank you. All right, we'll take this. Now, I have to be careful because he can get in between the doors, too. Again, a lot of oversights, because this is the first time they made anything like this. Uh, I went to take. I can't take a guard. East of this castle is a town where armor, weapons, and many other items may be purchased. Return to the inn for a rest when thou art wounded in battle, Kent again. Sleep heals all. Remember that, kids. Now let's talk to this guy. If thou hast collected all the chests, a key will be found. Once used, the key will disappear, but the door will open and thou may pass through. So yeah, we could just go to door, or we could go to item, key, and use. Now, we don't even automatically go down the stairs. That's how antiquated this shit is. I have to select stairs. So there's all sorts of people. They'll say all sorts of shit. There was a time when Breconary was a paradise. Then the Dragon Lord's minions came. Guess what happened? Uh, what's your problem, bitch? Oh, where can I find Princess Gwaylin? Well, walking around here, ain't gonna do it. You can see there's some treasures locked up over there. I believe they're just gold. That guy, there's a guy over there that heals our magic power, but uh, right now we don't have any, as you can see. So what we need to do, because we got no equipment, is make it to this town without getting into a random battle. And we did it! Hooray! So I'm going to buy some equipment. Um, standard first thing you buy would be the bamboo pole, the clothing, and the small shield. But I am going to spend a little bit more and get the club. And I got 60 more. What can I best... I messed everything up for myself. And the clothes. Just because I want to be able to hit harder. Um, it will make getting these first levels that much easier. So I got 40 gold. Once I have 90, I'll get a shield. 
uh, this game, the American version has upgraded graphics from the uh, Japanese version, like facing four ways like this. You can't do that in the Japanese version. And you can see I'm holding a sword now. And once I have a shield, I'll be holding it. But um, these episodes are going to be kind of short, I think. Um, just as we go through the main shit. So here's our first battle. It's really simple. I go first, then he goes. There's no agility or anything. So with my club, I should be able to do one damage, apparently. And he's kicking my ass! All slimes have three um, head points. And red slimes have four, but red slimes give you two gold. I was really thinking I'd do more do damage with my club. My initial stats must be pretty low. Um, but yeah, oh, there we go. Three. So, <laughs> you can see this is a process that's going to take some time. Uh, to get to level two, I need seven experience. Um, and different areas here have different spawn rates for the monsters. So, like, if I'm in the forest, I believe it's higher than in the fields there. But as you can see, my hit points are being worn down, and I've got no way to heal right now. I could have bought... These hills, I think, have an even higher spawn rate, but they are a bumpy way to travel. Um, but yeah, this is just the gist of it. There's tons of grinding in this game. Um, and not much story. The story is pretty threadbare, which is why there's going to be a lot of skipping. Um, I'm going to do all the grinding off-screen unless I'm explaining something like I kind of am now. Kind of wait and see like this. You have to really wait for something to attack you down here because it's in Noobville. Finally, a red slime. Let's kick its ass. Ooh, one more hit and he'll be dead. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll get to level two and then I'll call it an episode from there. And, yeah, let me know what you think, guys. It's my first shot doing something like this and I really want to share these things with you. Um, when I originally played, got this game, rather... It was my mother who played it through, obviously, because I could barely read and decipher what was going on. And I remember she got to the final boss of the game, which obviously is the Dragon Lord, and she beat his first form. And then when he transferred, now look, everything is turning red because I'm getting my face pommeled. But that's okay. Probably should go to the inn. Let's do that. Uh, at level 3, I'll get a heal spell, and it will render this in redundant and useless because I could just use the spell and get the guy next door to uh, heal my magic abilities. But uh, it's not going to be this time around. So two more experience and I'll get to level two. Um, but yeah, my mother beat the first form of the final boss. And then when he transformed, she's like, I think she kind of ran out of patience. She's like, I've had enough of this. And that's when I took over and lost. Excellent move. Randomly happens. Extra damage. So one more experience and... We'll be done with this little bit. Um, and in between the episodes, I'm going to grind, gain some levels, and we'll go to the next areas from there. So, come on, slimy slimes. I just need one more. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Beat his head in. Slime. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Thou hast done well in defeating the slime. And we've leveled up. So let's see, courage and wit have served thee well, for thou hast been promoted to the next level. Your power increases by one, maximum hit points by seven! Holy shit, it's random, but that was a good level. Anyway, I'm gonna call it an episode here, please let me know what you think. If you want to see more, if you hate this, like, whoops, if you hate the crap out of this and want it to end immediately, I don't think you will since it doesn't really uh, interfere with anything else, but always want to know your thoughts. Thanks again, I'll see you guys next time in Cantagian's Classics. Bye-bye.